What's up everybody? Today we're going to learn about how to overlay videos onto images in Premiere Pro. So following on from my previous video where I showed the iPhone screen on an image of an iPhone and the screen was moving however the picture was steady. What I'm going to do is just do a quick brief tutorial of it. So I'll show you how to superimpose a video on top of any image. Uh, for this one here, I've just got a, a royalty free laptop image. So I'll just extend that a bit and you just sort of place it wherever you want to fit it in your timeline. So I'll have that just there. What you need to do is make sure your image is underneath the video clip. And then if you have a, a video clip of a screen recording, so anything off the Mac or Windows PC or an iPhone or anything that you want to overlay. So ideally, if you're doing a, an iPhone screen recording, then you need an iPhone image behind. So what you want to do is, now your video's on there, you want to scale that down to roughly where the video is going to be. So you can see there, sort of, yeah, that'll do. And I'll just zoom it in slightly. There we go. And what you want to do is head to the effects panel you type in corner pin, corner pin's there, so you just drag that on the video clip. And now you have your video clip, you click on corner pin under effects controls and these little buttons appeared. And all you have to do is just drag those and you can drag them into the corner of the, the screen. So for this example is the corner of the MacBook. But obviously if you're using the iPhone screen recording you do to the corner of the iPhone and etc. So I'll just do that up there. Maybe a bit further up. It's a bit harder with the, the black screen. So we go just as a rough guess and then I'll just fit that again. So whenever you play it, as you can see here, your video is now playing over the top of that image of the laptop. So it looks like the video is on the laptop and you're filming the laptop. And obviously with your being in Premiere Pro, you can adjust your images as well, so you can add it, give it more contrast, bump up the shadows, and just sort of make everything look a bit better. And then all you do is just export as you normally would and edit as you normally would. And then there you go. There's your video overlaid on a, an image like that. So I hope you found this video useful. Give it as a subscribe, a like, a comment, and till next time, see ya.